very, uh, very challenging practice today. Um, really, really pleased with how the players uh, responded, you know, both sides of the ball. Uh, I thought both showed some things at different times in practice. Um, you know, really challenged the defense after I thought that, you know, our intensity level wasn't where it needs to be on Saturday. And they responded as, as probably better than I had anticipated and exactly the way I expect, you know, from that group. Uh, they got a lot of pride in the way they fly around and play. Uh, and then I thought the offense responded back again in the second half of practice. Uh, I thought our offensive line uh, looked very good during the team portion of practice. Um, so I think, you know, we took another step today. Uh, now it was it was intense. It was extremely competitive, uh, and it was. I mean, it, that that practice tells you something about yourself. You know, guys that guys that don't show up in that practice, you know, they they tell you something. And guys that do show up in that practice, they tell you a lot. And so, uh, you know, pleased with the way the guys approach today. I think that film's going to you know be a, a great one for us to look at and grow from. We just got to continue to take those steps. You know, with being able to execute in that kind of an intense environment when you're tired. Because you know our pace is is it's, it's going to be one we're going to have to we're going to have to execute when we're tired. So, but uh, yeah, very, could not be more pleased with the way they approach the day. Second week and uh, already fifth practice of spring, so is it starting to feel more real for you guys, coaches? And, you know, this this week in particular, like a lot is in more physicality, more competition, as you said. Well, that I mean that one was you you, you can't practice like that every day, and I wanted today's practice to be like that. Because I don't want, um, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, have that kind, you know, late in the week. Because I want Saturday to be like that. You know, that that kind of intensity and that kind of pace of practice today is how I want Saturday to be. You know, I think Saturday's the first real, real, real look at what we can do. You know, so we got to make sure we get ready for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, 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 you're you're learning a lot about a lot of people. You know, and there's been some pleasant surprises, uh, and there's been some guys that. Uh, you know, you, they're still trying to figure it out, but you've had, uh, you've got a lot of a lot of guys doing some good stuff out there. How has the offensive line adjusted to this style and pace of play? This well, it's different. <laughs> it's different. Um, you know, I think that you know they they'll probably you know tell you after a day like today that uh, you know they see how it's it's really going to help them. And uh, I mean, I, th I thought just we protected well in that team portion. Uh, you know, we did a good job in the run game in that team portion uh, with the first group. Now it's you know we got some young guys that got to you know continue to come along, but that that first group I really liked what they did today. How awesome is it to see that competition you know in, in March just to see them really going after each other? Oh, it's awesome, and I think that everybody's the offense is not the only ones excited about it. You know the defensive guys they're excited about it. You know they're excited about you know you know what potential uh, we see right now. But uh, you know again it's just practice five. You know, I am I am pleased, but uh, we got to get better. You know, our execution. You know, it's still. You know, we got to execute better. You know, because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put drives together, and you gotta put the ball in the end zone. That's the name of the game. Obviously, we saw Julius Wood today at pro. Yeah. Uh, you know, stepping in for him with this team. Who have you seen kind of step up to safety uh, with this year's version thus far? Well, I thought I thought Jordan Huff had a pretty good day on Saturday. Um, we'll see how today's practice was. Um, Omar Rogers is a veteran guy. Devin King's having a good spring. Um, you know, you got some other guys that I want to, you know, continue to push to bring along. But I think those three uh, have probably been the most solid on the back end. You know, I thought Gavin Gibson did some good stuff on Saturday, and Kingston McKinstry did some good stuff on Saturday at the Sam and Nickel. Um, but uh, you know, I want to look at the, the practice for today for some of those other guys. Right. Well, you know, they've got to they've got to play with more consistency and they've got to, you know, be out there, you know, when the bullets are flying, you know, down after down. And then, you know, we've got to get those next guys ready, you know, because, you know, Julius was really, really good, but we also had a really good guy behind him. And so, you know, you got to have depth in the secondary. And uh, so, uh, you know, just, you know, being able to play consistently, you know, down after down, you know, that's the real thing if you're going to be the guy. Um, but then, you know, you got to have the next guy ready, too. Well, I mean, like I said, uh, you know, Saturday, they both have shown ability. Uh, and they both mentally can handle everything in process. Uh, and you got to process quickly in this offense. Um, you know, I think both of them are doing a good job of, you know, like Jake on Saturday, you know, he'd be over on the sidelines between series, you know, really positive encouragement with the linemen or the receivers and, you know, having discussions with the receivers on what, what they were doing on the field. 
Um, I think Keaton's done, you know, a lot of the same things. And so I think right now they both understand that they're in a, a pretty tight competition. And so, you know, they're really focused on that. But I th you know, think they're doing the, the things with the units they're practicing with each day. They're doing th the things that they need to do. Yeah, I mean that's, you know, they're 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 getting accustomed to, you know, our guys too, and our, and our practices. You know, they were, I think some of them were a little surprised at how, you know, you know our guys, you know, when it, when in the, that horn sounds, it's period one, they go. You know, it's you ain't got to you know beat them or, or coax them into going. Uh, so I think they've been pleasantly surprised with that. But uh, yeah, I enjoy I enjoy you know, just John John David Baker and his leadership on offense and just. You know, the way, you know, he's got a very positive attitude with the guys and, you know, he can be demanding when he needs to be demanding. Um, but I think, you know, the kids are really responding to him. You know, probably the same thing with Matt Maddox. Um, you know, I think that uh, you know, he's, a, he's a sharp offensive line coach and he, he knows this deal. So uh, I've enjoyed just watching him and, and you know, I'm, I'm learning too. You know, this is, a, this is a lot different than anything I've ever done. So, uh, you know, I'm having to learn something new also. But, uh, you know, I tell you, I, I'm really... Uh, it's good having Coach Powell, you know, in our in our staff meetings and just his experience, and uh, I think that'll be good for our overall staff. How much have you enjoyed him? Just you know, being able to coordinate special teams and all, all you guys help him, but him being able to kind of really focus on that. I think he's kind of enjoying it too. Yeah. Now he's he's trying to learn this offense as well, so he's he's sitting on offensive meetings when he, when he can, but he's really focused on our special teams and our schemes and he's learning our kids and, you know, who you can trust. Um, you know, it's just, you know, like I said, you know, he, a guy with his experience, I'm just, um, I'm appreciative of having him with us just from a, you know, a sounding board. I'm sure I'm going to use him a lot just with a lot of situations and scenarios just as a sounding board, uh, just because he's seen so much. When you're talking about playing with like this kind of pace, you know, how much is trust in, in each other kind of go along with that? Just knowing like, hey, like we're going fast and, well, that's that's the thing is you got you everybody's got to be on it because uh, if you can execute, um, then you know you can really you know do some pretty pretty you know exciting things. Uh, but uh, you know you gotta you gotta be you gotta be accountable and you know you gotta be a guy that everybody can trust, uh, and then you gotta trust everybody else to do their job. There's no doubt about that. But that's it's that way with any offense. Uh, it's just in this one, you know, it's. You know the mistakes are, are glaring, and then the the execution in the pot when you do it positively is glaring. You know because you know you can you can have some you can generate some explosive plays. What have you seen out of Western Wright thus far? I think a, a lot. Like I talked about Casey Kelly, you know he's a he's a savvy veteran. Um, he's a guy that has a lot of confidence. Um, you know he, he's not arrogant, but he's confident. Um, and he's hard on himself too. You know he 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 dropped the ball at the during the team period today that would have been a huge play and you know it's because he was tired you know but he's he's I, I could tell come off the field I was talking to him he just he's ticked at himself because he expects himself to make that play because he's been a high level player at other places he's been and he expects to be that same guy here I have a question from one of my news reporters who's doing the story on Blake Prohl yep Well, I'm really excited for him and his success. I, I texted with him when all this stuff started, just uh, kind of giving him a hard time. But we, we all knew he was very talented and knew he could, you know, sing and all that stuff when he was here. But, uh, you know, he's kind of taken it to the next level. But, you know, Blake's a first-class guy, um, comes from a great family, um, high-character young man. And, uh, you know, one that, you know, I've, even though I don't see him, you know, very much, uh, still feel like I have a you know very close relationship with him from our time here. And, you know, respect him a lot and uh, just really, really happy for him and excited for him with all the success.